Good. What's happening, guys? Um, today, I'm just going to shoot you through real quick what I'm doing with uh, the, the launch pad here and kind of uh, just what I got going with it right now. Uh, mainly for the BMT forum so that I can kind of explain what I where I'm at with it. So right now um, you can see it's in um, Block one on this on the screen computer screen. We got the red You see that's black black one is red if I if I hit The second button up here it jumps to block two and I'll just run through each one of these real quick. You can see block four, five, six, seven. So I got um, eight. I got eight blocks, and each one uh, you get into from this, and each one that you go into, it displays a different kind of light, um, kind of on the sequencer thing here. So uh, that's pretty tight. Um, but like now, the next thing you'll see is I kind of got two bars here. There's this solid red one and then this moving red one. Well, this solid red one is corresponding to um, the right loop indicator, basically. So if I click right here now, you'll see on the screen uh, it jumped over to bar three. And so it'll do that all the way up to a full, um, you know, eight bar loop. And then this correspondingly moves with uh, with that. So... Uh, you know and if you do that then you got to wait for it but anyway so so that's how that works um, and, the, and the cool thing about this is like um, is now I also I have okay so that's kind of how you get around it now I have a way to um, add audio to it um, I, and it's kind of silly because I'm built I'm kind of prototyping this design for this guitar and so for now I'm actually playing um, a different guitar um, I don't know if you can kind of see if I'm in the, in the in the picture. Yeah, so I'm playing this one into what this is going to be going into eventually. But just kind of while I'm working on this on the table, <laughs> I'm playing this one. So, and um, real quick, I'm just going to give you a little little sample. So I just turned my click on. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but my click's on. So now. Um, Basically, each one of these record arms a different channel. As you can see on the window there, it's record arming. Just cut, I, and I automated mouse clicks to do that. And then uh, this red button on the guitar wing is the main record button in the whole session. So I figured I'd put that one real close to my fingers when I'm uh, doing this live, you know. So, um, so basically, what I can do now is arm one channel. And uh, I have no idea what I'm about to play, but I'm just about to play something. So, okay, whatever, right? Cool. So that's a weird way to loop. I'm basically playing the dog, you know? So, and then, um, some reason my audio feedback's not coming through. I got another really sweet feature, but it's not working. I don't know why. I don't know, but I'm gonna try and pop one in on the next track here and see if it works. Um, so we'll jump onto track two here and see if it works. supposed to be doing that but it's not working for me you know I could pop one more on here right. Right. Yeah, 
this thing didn't work. <laughs> I have to do it again because something got messed up. Sorry. volume output and one of them is controlling how much audio feedback goes on with a launch pad. So so what, what I did just there, I'm going to stop this now. What I did just there was, um, you know, I basically put a loop in these four bars. Um, now the crazy thing is, if I uh, put it back on, right, here it goes. Here, it loops back to the beginning, everything's there. But if I go to the next block, it's a brand new, a brand new whole thing, totally brand new whole thing. Now this is just kind of cool thing about Reason. It's got these blocks, and you see what happens if I do it real slow mo for you. If I press this button down and I don't release it yet, and I let you look, you see what I did is I program it to just click on that menu, and when I let go, it clicks block three, and it sends a different light color to this. But I, I don't have my bar indicator lights updating with that yet I don't, I don't know i gotta figure that out but you know basically uh as soon as you click it it updates to the color of the whatever so so that's pretty cool and then you know these will work the same way across all eight banks as my audio things eventually i want to add like different instruments that i can toggle between to add into here like one to be an audio track one to be like a, a sampling device one to be like a you know MIDI input from the MIDI pickup, um, one to be like like a step sequencer. I just want to add a bunch of different instruments I like toggle between here and then somehow pick them to add. But okay, so basically, um, that's that's kind of I mean how it works. There's one more thing to show you before uh, I can I don't know give you the you know uh, problem I'm trying to figure out. Is on the wing. I got this this thing going on. I'm mean, you're not you're not going to see anything change on the launch pad, but on the screen, you see it jumps out to the main mode. Okay, I'm just gonna mute. mute those for now, and and you'll see now. Also, what I've done is I've kind of set the uh, what do you call it uh, the zoom of the sequencer to match. Um, with to work with the same mouse clicks that I programmed for each one of these buttons to go to you know these different sets here so what I really want to do is make this mode separate from the individual block modes um, first thing I'm gonna need to do is just probably change the color of the scanner thing and maybe change the pattern but basically what I want to do is I want to be able to like hold a button that corresponds to one of the blocks colors like like this first block is red this block is orange this block is yellow etc etc what I want to be able to do is like click and hold one of those and then um, like punch in notes like punch in uh, like clips that will mean it'll like repeat in the master mode like for that long of the red block and then hold this one and then like shoot in the orange ones and then it'll be st these would still be red these would be orange and then it would like pencil in the orange block here so then I would have this like crazy power to have like be able to go in here and write a four bar thing or an eight bar thing build it up with loops and different instruments and then go to here and make maybe four bars here and then you know build it up with some stuff a couple other layers and then you know etc etc build up like a whole bunch of separate chunks and then press this button on the wing here to jump back to the main sequencer mode and then be able to like take those chunks and like hold a button for the green one or hold this button for the what 
red one or whatever and then just punch them in and then it would like i don't know play through them in order so i could like arrange a whole song in this mode hopefully is what i'm trying to do but um my main question right now is just sim it's it's a lot more simple on a lower scale um basically if i'm in red mode right uh and i and i set a four bar loop like that and then i go to orange mode orange mode see each block has its own loop length memorized in it so what happens is when you switch between them um this my top row here doesn't remember the way uh, it, it doesn't remember when I switch between them. It doesn't remember where it was in blue when I last left blue. It doesn't remember where it was in yellow. Uh, yellow when I last left yellow. It doesn't remember where it was in uh, kind of purple or whatever when I last left purple. So that's what I need to figure out. And I think it's with a global global variable, I think. But... I just I'm I'm really stumped on it right now and I'm hoping uh one of you guys on the BMT forum maybe can help me figure figure out how to assign a memory to these. Um I've already just so you understand, like here on this track, if if I open this up, um it's basically just a pattern of MIDI notes that I wrote um and then sent it this is th those notes are what you're looking at here on the that's what's making the light scan in time and I basically just sent those notes out of this external MIDI instrument here to uh, Bone MIDI translators virtual import there and then um, I'll pop into Bone and kind of sh shoot you over what I got going real quick um, the bar control is happening here um, that's that's all this so, you know, each one of these is just taking an input um, from here, and then it's sending it. Um, it's basically, if I hit this one, it's sending this note on, these notes off. If I hit this one, it's sending these two on, all these off. If I hit this one, these three on, these f uh, five off, and just so, so on and so forth. That's how I set the lighting up here, and then... On, honestly it's as simple as this sends a mouse click to one bar this sends a mouse click to the next bar mouse click to the next bar so that's how that worked uh, how, how I did that but um yeah so so the cool the cool thing um is is um where where did I do it sequencer mode no black mode here in black mode um basically all of these are where I'm taking in the signal from the external MIDI instrument that's sending this node information. So all this node information is coming into Bohm here, and and what it's doing is I'm I'm then sending it just uh, this huge MIDI message out. It's not even that big really, but it's just sending a MIDI message out through all the columns, you know. So it sends a note here and then I have it send a note to the rest of the column and then so on and so forth so as long as it's playing um, as long as MIDI is coming out of that thing it's populating these lines here um, and so that's how I got Bohm to light this up with feedback from Reason so that's that's cool I'm gonna be still tweaking this a little bit but uh but yeah, so so just there there's kind of the basics of it. As you can see, I've been working on it a lot. Um but yeah, I really want to figure out how to get this to update and to remember where it is when I switch between blocks that have their own kind of inherent memory for where the thing is, you know. Um anyway, so I hope someone can someone can help me figure it out. Um Alright, thanks.
All right, bye-bye.